Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Angry Taxpayer. I'm your host, Donna Smyrniotopoulos, and today is Wednesday, August the 14th. Uh, today, I want to talk about what happened last night at the Common Council meeting. I was going to broadcast yesterday in anticipation of uh, how I thought they were going to vote on the police cruiser acquisition. And uh, actually, there was <laughs> there were a few dissenters on on that approval of uh, about six hundred thousand dollars to acquire twelve new uh, Ford Interceptor SUVs and to uh, for a custom paint job, uh, which would make the vehicles dark. And there was some objection to the color of the vehicles. I didn't read of anybody objecting to the money. So um, you know, this is something that. I've discussed in the past, which is, are we getting the best use of our police vehicles? And uh, are we paying too much money, turning them over too soon? Uh, one of the excuses for vehicle replacement is that these vehicles get a lot of hard use. Um, anecdotally speaking, from my own observations, I see the cruisers idling. There was one parked in front of my house this morning, and uh, unfortunately, I uh, am broadcasting too late to show it to you, but uh, there was a little bit of utility work outside my uh, door, and I will turn around and so you can see where it was. So right behind me there, there was a police cruiser uh, parked by that red car, and there was a little utility work being done on my street. Now, I live on a tiny street, and if the road is blocked one way, you can easily go around the block, so we are paying, not only are we paying for the vehicles, but we're paying for police to stand guard. Uh, and, and the cost is, I think, about $65 an hour for, for a Nora police officer. Uh, and if we had a flag man, that we could cut that cost in half. This is something that was negotiated through collective bargaining a few years ago. When I was doing utility work here, uh, I was told that it was going to cost me an extra $1,000 to do the utility work because I had to pay two Norwalk cops to stand duty. So, you know, some of this is a little ridiculous. And I, you know, just full disclosure, I think we have really wonderful cops in the city of Norwalk. They're, they're nice. They don't harass citizens. Uh, but they're getting their instructions from, from the top. And our mayor is a the former chief of police. So if he wanted something different from Norwalk police officers, uh, maybe some traffic safety support, we'd be getting that. Uh, I was out on the road today driving a friend to work and 7.30 a.m. North Water Street was completely backed up, completely backed up. Uh, as I went around the block to avoid North Water, this was because of mall construction, uh, I passed by two NPD cruisers, and uh, outside of one, there was an officer on his cell phone, somebody on duty on his cell phone, and outside of the other one, there was an officer eating breakfast. Now, I don't know what the rules are for police officers on duty. Uh, you know, a lot of other lines of work, you're not allowed to talk on your cell phone when you're at work. Maybe there. this was not somebody talking to the dispatcher. This is somebody... On, on his smartphone. And again, I don't want to get anyone into trouble. I, I think that these are top-down issues and uh, we have serious traffic problems in the city, especially uh, connected to construction. There's construction on the Strofalina Bridge, there's mall construction. We are going to have walk bridge construction. We need a different paradigm for uh, North police officers to support uh, and facilitate the flow of traffic. And I know this can be done. I know that officers are willing to do it. They just need to get the right instructions. And uh, as far as the kind of money we spend replacing uh, police cruisers, I think we can do better. I think we can get more use out of those vehicles. It, you know, they spend a lot of time idling. And uh, I see on the other side of my house uh, very frequently uh, cruisers, you know, pointed in opposite directions so the officers can chat with one another. Uh, you know, I know it probably can be a long, boring day unless something is happening. And, you know, they're here to keep us safe, and I appreciate that. But I think we can do better. I think that 
The taxpayers deserve more for their money than what we're getting. Uh, I think the city should have a consolidated fleet maintenance and purchasing uh, department rather than uh, each department doing their own thing. And we might be able to reuse these police cruisers with TPW or someplace else and save some money. So uh, let's put the emphasis on being fiscally responsible for the taxpayers and using our police force to help facilitate the flow of traffic in order to improve our quality of life. And have a great day. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a good one. Bye-bye.